ready. ready. Yeah. <laughs> okay. As <laughs> ready well. as we can be, right? Yes. We're here. And it's a Wednesday. It's cold today. I, it was kind of chilling here. I went and got a sweater, actually. Yeah, it's not supposed to get very warm. And that today. camera is so far away. Is that really weird? No. I think it's because we have an extra person because we did a different meeting with the extra person. Probably. Yeah. yeah. It's all good. So it's our imaginary fine. friend. But there's also a dog down by your feet, so there's that. Yeah, you might hear some licking. Actually, <laughs> you shouldn't hear licking because the microphones are far away. She has a lick mat to keep her busy for a little bit. It is bit. her first birthday today, though. Today is her first yeah. birthday. Oh, today is her birthday. And Happy Frankie's birthday. was yesterday. Frankie's we celebrate yes, dog birthdays around here. We don't, we don't so go late. So you're making the birthday cupcakes? Well, yeah, I was supposed to make them last night. Um, and I got, I went to, we went to lunch, we went to Aldi, I got all the ingredients, I put the yogurt in the fridge, at the end of the day I went and took the yogurt out of the fridge, and then everything fell out, so I had to restack <laughs> everything, and then I forgot all the ingredients on my desk. And now they're not Every good. single one. Yeah. Yeah, so now uh, the yogurt's Because, no dude, you made the, who made the doggy cupcakes before? Britain did. You did, right? Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, they look good I, enough to eat. Yeah, sure. Ella was right. just like sniffing at it. Our dog, she's just kind of like a princess. I don't know about yeah. this thing. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, we turned back like five minutes later, and it's just disappeared. <laughs> she also just gobbled it. I was like looking under chairs to see if she would slid it under somewhere, but she. Gobbled. You'll find it in three years. When yeah. she took a bite, she was all about that. Well, I think it's funny how different dogs eat them too, because Sky ate hers in one bite, and Sheldon like took his time, and licked off all the frosting, <laughs> and then he nibbled it nicely. Logan said that Beans ate it in one bite, one and I looked at him and was like, okay, where's more? <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice different. treat. It sounds yeah. like my dog. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good, good morning, morning, everybody. Hey, Charles. Hey, Jennifer. <coughs> so, so, I guess so I'm Lori. Britton. Patty. From I know Coffee Beauty. You guys know us. I know. <laughs> Just in case. Uh, and Jen, I'm sorry. I got a, We got a box out to you yesterday. That yeah. It was so weird because it said May. I know. We looked at it. I know. It said May. I know. We told her not to and restart then, her subscription yeah, until May 17. And then I looked 17. again, yeah. and it was gone. Yeah. So I sent you oh, a box. Oh, no. I didn't know that happened. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we're, we're not did. doing tasting today, so you've got time to get it, and it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, we did have a couple people sign up for the VIP early access, so they have access to the full-size oh, flavors already. Oh, that's fun. Oh. Yeah, okay. for the whole week. And are you going to talk about that later? Yeah. Probably. Oh, you're yeah, fine, Jen. No, goes. it's okay. <laughs> we had we were still mailing them out because they come in all night over the 15th. Yeah. So we're still mailing them. We always have, you know, a few extras, so it's... Oh, yeah, there's always too. something yeah. that happens. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think what Bill just messaged you. Yep. So yep. I sent you back like four different options. Yep, I got to oh, respond to Bill. Do all of these yeah. things. We love it. We're like, yeah, we know who everybody is and what they order. And <laughs> yeah. So what is this month's theme? So we did the best of. This. Um, so it, it's our anniversary oh, box, it's the right? Best so okay, it's yeah. um, the third year of having our Coffee of the Month subscription. Oh, we have already announced business. this, right? We have already We're not announced it. Anything. We know the flavors. Yeah. We don't know the flavors. Better. Right. So, so we the, just know the yeah, box. Yeah, we won't tell the flavors yet. But okay. um, I know that like Bill reached out and was interested in one of the flavors in particular, and then our influencers are, are starting to post and are pretty I mean, excited about them. We're really starting to get the boxes. Yeah. We can say the flavors if we want. We're just not tasting them yet. No. Okay, it's a surprise. It'll be a surprise. You get one more week. We'll taste them next week, and then you'll know. Um, so I thought because Patty sent us a coffee quiz, I got eleven out of twelve. So did I. And I bet we missed the same one. I didn't. The frappuccino. I don't know. Do you want me to open up that quiz? No, I wanted to. No, that. yeah, the frappuccino was the one I got yeah. wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hold on. and I sh had my gut said that too. I should have just gone with my Where gut. Is? But That's the answer good. was um, mm -hmm. Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm, well, I'm, I'm going to go through <laughs> it with sure you guys. Yeah, go through it with you. Okay, guys. so take so the Brent quiz. Take the quiz. So you guys can take it with me. So if you know the answer, put it put yeah. it on below. So we won't say the we'll answer. We'll do the until. quiz together. The I got eleven out of twelve. I was pretty. How do you post? That was pretty okay. Oh, did Oops. I? They're not a secret anymore. <laughs> did I? Oops. <coughs> I don't know. Did I schedule a little bit early, Bill? Maybe I did. <laughs> okay. From which U.S. city did Starbucks originate? Seattle, Boston, San Francisco, or New Orleans? I'm going to do your answers. So oh, so if somebody If you says, know it, shout it out. So what is it? Seattle, Washington. Washington. Mm -hmm. Oh, you oh. want to know where the old places are? No. 
no Seattle, idea. Seattle, Boston, what? Seattle, Boston, San Francisco, New Orleans. And we hope nobody knows this answer. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be kind of hard not to there, or, you know, the big green Any giant. Ideas? Which know? city did, which U.S. city did Starbucks? You were saying Seattle? All right, we're going to go with Seattle. Okay. Correct. That was correct. I liked how it gave it you right away. If yeah. You were right I hate it when you're right taking away. a test and, like, they don't give you the yeah. answers, and then you never like, know if you got end. it right. Or, like, yeah. they just give you a score at the end. You're like, did I, which one did I get right? Yeah. I'd like okay. to know, please. This one is what brewing device, what is this brewing device called? Well, it's kind of hard to see. Um, it has a plunger. It has yeah, a you plunger. Know, it's got it's a glass, glass pot. pot. Yeah, you can't see that far. Mm -hmm. So, it's a French press. Oh. Oh. You can just take your okay. leash off. Yes, miss. Let's take your leash off. Um, so, it's a French press. Skizzy. Correct. She Why are you sorry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? According to an Ethiopian origin story, coffee beans were discovered after what animal became energetic after eating them? Elephants, birds, goats, or jaguars? This is one of my favorite ones when Lori does trainings with people, and she talks about this, and she says that they threw this animal in the fire. Yes. And, she like, she will like just say it, it and not realize that she says I'm gonna it. I'm going to say... It was that, but it was... It was a good description. description. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I was like, eh, we'll just go for it. Yeah. Okay, so what... And Anybody have an idea what animal? An Ethiopian origin story. Coffee beans were discovered after what animal became energetic? I feel like we have not done our job that people don't know this. Elephants, birds, goats, or jaguars? Definitely jaguars. Go <laughs> ahead <laughs> and That's what we need to do is jaguars get no. a real energetic. That would be great. So if I didn't know terrifying. it, I probably would say a different answer, I'm going to say. Well, if you think oh, really? about animals in Ethiopia, what's in Ethiopia? Elephants. Ooh. Mm. That good is guess. a good guess. And I guess this animal is in many countries. Do I have to do it wrong? I'm going to go with the correct answer only because I know it. Yeah. The correct answer is goats. So it, the origins of coffee, we're going to, Caldi was a goat herder. Yes. And he noticed that his goats were very energetic and <laughs> playful. And um, he, so he followed them and they, he saw they were eating cherries and off of a berry. tree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and he, then he tasted the berries and he just, he got very energetic and yeah. wanted to write dancing. love letters to his yeah. wife. He could I stay up all night, they, yeah. Um, and that's really the, supposedly the discovery of coffee. So it and is. And they were the, eating them to stay up at night, herder. right? So they could well, watch Well, then they the, went to the monks. Yeah. Then okay. they went to the monks and the okay. monks did it because they stayed up all night and did those dances. Well, they were like. Wait, do monks dance or do they chant? It was the other the ones. Spinning. They do the dev, dervilish dancing yeah, where they just spin anything. in circles I kinda need and to do, do it this. all night. Yeah. I would get really dizzy. Really, really dizzy. dizzy. <laughs> like, I wouldn't make it very I far. Mean, at first, they used to make it into these weird, like, protein bars. They didn't even yeah. Oh, they were, like, fat. Yeah. They were animal fat, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Like, gross. Super mm -hmm. gross. Animal fat and coffee cherries. Yeah. And then, true or false, the world's most expensive coffee beans are harvested from poop. Gross. True or false. I just want to know, like, it's who it, decided... I yeah. To follow I this wish animal elephants around. had discovered it. <laughs> um, <laughs> That'd there, be so fun. There is a No, one. I mean if elephants yeah. had discovered coffee, oh, they'd yeah. be like all energetic. I don't want like, an energetic what? elephant. That's dangerous. <laughs> I want an energetic elephant that's little. Those you, mini you mini would. ones. She's obsessed true. with the idea of like miniature yes. animals. But, that like, that's true. not, like, you know, like, that would be, like, some major genetic breeding, like, issues. They could get there. It might take a hundred okay. years, but they the should start now. The Hopi Luwak <laughs> is the most expensive coffee in the world. It is harvested from partially digested coffee cherries found in the poop of an animal known as a civet. Okay, so there's a lot to unload here, right? Who decided to follow around <coughs> this cat, because it's a cat, and, like, go through its litter box it's and monkey, get this right? poop? No, it's, no, it's, it's a, a type of it's a, Yeah, it's a type of cat. Like, who decided to get its poop? And, like, like oh, well, that poop? looks like something we should have. Right? right? Who did that? Who eats poop? Right? Who did that? I mean, but, so I mean, who eats mold? Gross. Or, do you know what You mean blue cheese? cheese? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm yeah. thinking, like, penicillin. Hi, Wizzy. I mean, okay, but gross. Yeah, no. Right? I, there's a lot of things that would remain undiscovered. Right. <laughs> I'm very sure. <laughs> yeah. There's something about the um, acidity of the uh, cat's stomach that is supposed to, like, make it a okay. super balanced cup. 
I don't really care. I still don't want to drink that. That sounds horrendous. Um, there's a lot to unload. Yes, girl. A lot to unload. She's a damn cat. Yeah. It's um, just gross. It's just not for me. Bad. Just not for me. Yeah. Hello. Like, oh, I will you. lick your head. Thank you so much. I love you. Hi, <laughs> Sky. Um, Are you going to sit down and be a good girl? Come on. Sit. 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 So he's no, like, what? You. What is yeah. that? Yeah. What is that in what a puppy's life? Um, the next question is, what is an espresso? A, a brewing method where water is forced through the coffee grounds. B, a type of coffee bean that contains high amounts of caffeine. C, a type of beverage made with steamed milk. Or D, a type of beverage made with whipped cream. <laughs> she's a goon. <laughs> I love that puppy. Yeah, she's funny. Um, so what is espresso? Well, and I think it's so interesting because I, when I, for a training thing that we did, I researched it and I guess I didn't really understand. I had some misconceptions of it before mm -hmm. we came in the coffee industry. Mm -hmm. You know, that it, I thought it was a specific bean. Go, hey, Jennifer. Yeah. You um, are correct. Oh, and they say that in the answer too. Yeah. Espresso is a brewing method where water is forced through the coffee grounds. Contrary to popular popular belief, espresso is not a type of coffee bean, mm -hmm. but it can be made from any coffee bean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and our espresso perfecto makes a wonderful coffee, mm -hmm. a, yes. an excellent coffee. Agreed. Um, but because of the name, a lot of people think that it can only be used for espresso. Mm -hmm. And really, it was born because someone in Italy said, "I want, I want it faster." Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so they figured out how to put it under pressure and, and make it go faster. And really, espresso was born just because they wanted coffee faster. Yeah, and in a smaller amounts, so they could drink it mm -hmm. fast, like on their own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in Europe and stuff, they do have like little counters, and you don't sit down and have a cup of coffee. You just go there and take a yeah, shot yeah. and go on. Basically, yep, go basically. On with your day. Man. I like to savor my cup. Right? <laughs> Which ingredient is not found in a cappuccino? Espresso, steamed milk, whipped cream, or milk foam? Cappuccino. I remember working in the store, people would come in and they'd ask for cappuccinos, but they meant the push button. Yeah. And if you gave them a real cappuccino, they'd be like, I, this I've isn't what I asked, asked for. Yeah. I know. Always yeah. Asked. Yeah. So yeah. where do you normally get yeah. them? Yeah. 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 You got used real quick to asking people where they got and it And most from. times yeah. they were actually asking for a latte. Yeah. 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 Or they yeah. wanted a hot cocoa, yeah. basically. Can I get you a caramel latte, you please? You are correct. You're doing yeah. great. I yeah. know. A drink made with espresso and steamed milk. And so, really, the difference between a latte oh, and a no, don't go there. Oh, oh, and I think the next oh, answer. The what next is question. a latte? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we take in this quiz. Mm -hmm. So, me. what is a latte? A drink made with only espresso. A drink made with espresso and milk foam only. A drink made with espresso and steamed milk. A drink made with espresso and whipped cream only. Mm. So basically, they're asking how the milk is prepared for a latte. A latte versus versus, but that's yeah. the next yeah. question, so don't Wait. answer that one at a time either. <laughs> yeah, come here, can you not do that? Oh, she's a Starbucks girl on the side. No, Jennifer. No, I'm just mean, kidding. <laughs> I get it. I they have some decent drinks. Yeah, I had to she's go like north cover over up the uh, coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had to go north I over mean, the weekend and had to stop or there. Whatever. Sometimes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The yeah. only thing available. Yeah, she's like in the light. Um, there's a butter rum something that when they have a latte something. Do they have butter rum but latte? They've got something. So, mm. I think C, but I was typing. <laughs> um, C is correct. Good job. And Good job. So a latte is made with espresso and steamed milk. Mm. So you are correct. Lattes have become like a, a popular latte. vessel mm -hmm. for coffee art and designs. It can hide bad coffee mm -hmm. or attempt to. A caramel yeah. latte, put hey, some sugar Jennifer, milk in Jennifer, have you there. tried oat milk in a, um, mm -hmm. a latte? Because I'll tell you what, I used to be an almond milk girl myself, but oat milk has got like this, like, it, it froths so oat beautifully. Milk. Oh. Oat milk. That new recipe that, I'm working yes. on that has oat milk is delicious. I've never had oat milk before until that drink, yes. and I was like, this is delicious. Yes. Yeah, it's got a lot more calories than almond milk, so if you're watching, calories almond milk is great i think i have almond milk creamer right now which you know whatever um but the oat milk mm, so good 
I think that. it's driving her nuts that the curtains are covering the wall and she can't figure out what's behind them. <laughs> she keeps trying to get She's behind so the curtains. Yeah, yeah, she is. Yeah. Well, she wants everything. Everything. Yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what's the difference between a cappuccino and a latte? Lattes contain less espresso and more milk. Lattes contain more espresso and less milk. Oh, those are very confusing. I know. Lattes and cappuccinos contain the same amount of espresso and milk, but lattes have less caffeine, and there is no difference. Wow. I know I got it right, but I remember reading it going, this is really weird how they, how they well, said I this. Well, I did my uh, thing that I always say in my head when I did this, and mm -hmm. I'll say it after. Okay. Because See, like for us, I disagree with this. I, I, I do too. I picked the right answer, but I do disagree with this because you should be brewing the same amount of espresso in every cup. Yeah. And right. then you Regardless. top it with, and it's the milk that's yes. the difference, yes. right? So Correct. for like a latte, you would do like all steamed milk or microfoam milk with a little bit of foam on top. And for a cappuccino, you would do like a third of steamed milk and a third of foamed milk. Yeah. Yeah. So we're... And if you order your cappuccino extra dry, you should pick up the cup and it feels like it's like, like weightless. Like super light. Because it's just foam on top of the so, espresso. So we're going to go with, this is confusing, so should we go with B? Mm. Or what, I can't remember which one I picked. I mean, Jennifer says C. Yeah. This one. But they yeah. shouldn't contain less espresso. Yeah. You're correct. That's, They're well, saying that's what they said, less but I don't think they know. If you go to yeah. our coffee shop, it will contain the same amount of espresso. Right. We're going to brew the same shot it's either milk. way. And then the way I always, it's latte, lot of milk. Yeah. <laughs> Cappuccino is less milk, more froth. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I always thought latte, lot of milk. Yeah. And cappuccino yeah. usually just a little bit and then a lot of froth. And then, like I said, if you get it extra dry, like. But people don't know what cappuccino yeah. is. So you give them a real cappuccino and they're like, what's this? Yeah. Why are you not yeah. filling up? They really want a latte. Sometimes right? I would do it for people just so they could try it. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, me, let me make this for you. And then I'd wash your face. I'm like, now let me make you something so else. so loud. <laughs> Here, you know that? I might have done it in my microphone. It was so loud. <laughs> just heard of like a crazy noise. I'm going to blame it on the dog, but it was really my stomach growling. <laughs> Have you not eaten yet? Do you need some snacks? I'm fine. Okay. I, I do not need snacks. <laughs> Next question. True or false? I the darker mean. the coffee bean, the more caffeine it contains. Mm. This is a, always an interesting one because they're, this is always they very misconstrued. They do the true, though. Yeah. I mean, they do the, the right answer. <laughs> I love you with your coffee just over your head. So she doesn't oh, yeah. Oh, it's all the time. Okay. Sky, are you people My keyboard people? right now is a little honky because <laughs> one <laughs> jumped on my desk. <laughs> the liquid okay. went all so over. So true or false, the darker the coffee bean, the more caffeine it contains. And if you would have asked us this... Ten years ago, we would have had a different answer. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Because we false. we used to teach false is correct. Jennifer. It is false. Mm -hmm. Um, because we used to teach that it it was that caffeine somehow cooked out of coffee beans. We had to say actually the darker roast had less caffeine. Yeah. And then the Specialty Coffee Association did a lot of tests and. Yep. Mm -hmm. Caffeine levels are actually quite stable during the roasting process. For a more caffeinated drink, you would simply add more scoops of coffee to your cup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now there is a difference between uh, Robusta and Arabica coffee. Yeah. Robusta has about twice the caffeine. As but it's disgusting. Arabica, so yeah. No, well, not <laughs> all Robusta's really good. <laughs> I you think they're gross. You yeah. have specially great Robusta yeah. that's yeah. very good, but a lot, a lot of, of the commercial coffee is Robusta. So like for us with specialty coffee, like it's grown at higher altitudes and they taste better at higher altitudes. Where Robusta, Robusta, Robusta is grown at lower altitudes and is typically thought to not be as good. Yes, I'm sure there are some good ones out there. I haven't found one. Usually if I'm doing a cupping and robust is involved, I think it's gross. So, yeah. well, I mean, if yeah. you take a lower grade Arabica and a higher grade Robusta, the Robusta is going to be better. So Does that higher grade mean it was grown a little bit higher than the lower no, grade? No, it's just a higher grade of coffee. <laughs> yeah. So. Less uh, pea berries and, and flaws well, in it. Well, pea berries can be very good. There's some very sought after pea berry coffee. That's true. So That's true. Somebody just asked us about our pea berry the other day. We haven't had a pea berry yeah, coffee in a while. Forever. Was it tans? Uh, we tans had a, in? yeah, um, Braz oh, it was Brazilian fin um, Fazenda. Was yeah. our was coffee? It, that was our. We haven't had yeah. that in a long And then time. we had a Peruvian, our Peruvian fair trade. Um, I thought was a no, that one no. wasn't a pea berry. It was just fair trade. Yeah, it was just fair trade. Yeah. Okay, which of these statements is true? 
light roast beans are more acidic than medium and dark roast beans. Light roast beans are more acidic than medium roast beans, but less acidic than dark roast beans. Oh my gosh. Yeah, light I roast know. beans are less acidic than medium roast beans, but more acidic than dark roast beans. Light roast beans are less acidic than medium and dark roast beans. This is a crazy question. Well, it's I know. stupid because the first, <laughs> the middle two are illogical. Like, right. They don't even make sense. Like, yeah. if there's going to be a scale of things, like, that doesn't even make sense, right? So it was between A and D for me. So we're just going to give it? Mm-hmm. We'll give it, so yeah. It's A. Light roast beans are more acidic than medium and dark roast beans. Light roast beans contain, contain more moisture because they're roasted for a shorter period of time. Beans with more moisture are more acidic. So making sure I was reading that correctly. <laughs> but to be clear, some guy. coffee yeah, beans are more acidic too. Like the roast has something to do with it, but so does the type of bean. Yeah, that's what. Yeah. Like a Kenyan bean is yeah. naturally acidic, where a, but you we know, do Costa like Rican. I feel like this quiz was yeah. written by somebody who doesn't really have coffee knowledge. I think they Googled something. Yeah. And came going to say well, it Buzz is BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed. Yeah. So, I mean. Yeah. It's legit. Yeah. For sure. Super legit. Did you get your answers from Wikipedia by chance? The most non legit thing in the whole world? Right. <laughs> so, this is the one you both got wrong, right? No. We both got that right. The one we got no, wrong. No, this oh, this is the, the one we both yeah, got yeah, yeah. wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did the word frappuccino originate? Italy, Ethiopia, Washington, or Massachusetts? Mm. Wasn't it with Starbucks? Is that what you both thought? That's what I did That's what we both thought. So it was Massachusetts. I was pretty sure that the Italians weren't touching frappuccinos, but they still don't have frappuccinos. (laughs) 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 They turn their noses off. Ethiopia? That's a guess. It could be right. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to go with Ethiopia. (laughs) (laughs) It was Massachusetts. No, it wasn't invented by Starbucks. It was invented by a coffee shop in Massachusetts. So what I want to know is, did Starbucks buy the right to use the word frappuccino from them? You know, yeah, I, I want to know, know, like, the history of that, because obviously it's, like, a huge thing now. And we have a frappel latte. We do have a frappel latte, because yeah. a latte is closer, more closely related. Well, in our oh, stores... Beef for Boston. There yeah. you go, Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> beef for Boston. So in our stores, we make a base with um, espresso... And other items. So ours is like a true, like, you know, latte kind of base, if you will. So it is more of a frappe latte. Yeah, and sense. we're in the middle of testing some right now. And I'll tell you what, if I had to drink one more. But yeah. you guys will this afternoon, so, you know. Yeah. She's, like, <laughs> falling asleep. Yeah. Oh, she's so cute. Are you so tired? Are you tired? Okay, well, that was one more. I want to oh, cook one more. Oh, okay. one more. Yeah. <laughs> what beverage is made by adding hot water to espresso? A cortado, an americano, a dopio, dopio, or an affogato. Mm. Was it affogato? What they were doing a couple years ago that was like um, whipped coffee, where you like whipped it and added like ice cream to it. I have no whipped, idea. Whipped, um, ice cream. I don't know. That's what Qatar does. They put their ice cream in their. Pie. Yeah. I'm decorating cookies. So I'm distracted. <laughs> well, I think it was <laughs> like um, I think it's like a TikTok t- trend right. from like a couple summers ago that people were making the affogados. Right. Yeah. It sounds familiar, but we had one customer mm. in the store that always got these with like extra water. It was the most interesting thing. To we'll eat. drink some americanos like three or four of them a day. Oops, I said Oops. it. Well, we sorry, said it. I said it. Yep. Americano is the correct. <laughs> Super answer. good at keeping secrets. <laughs> we are true coffee experts. We know everything there is to know about coffee. In fact, I'm pretty sure you are a barista in another life. <laughs> good job. Go reward Woo-hoo! yourself with a latte. Yay! Yeah. Hey, good yeah. job, Jennifer. We were. Yeah. I was barista in this life. <laughs> I was I was never a barista, but then we had our coffee specialist come in. Oh yeah. And I remember he had me make an espresso for him and I was so nervous. Did he um, say you did good? He said I did perfect. Oh wow. Perfect. Charles, I'm curious to hear which one's your favorite. Oh yeah. Oh. She's just and so you mentioned earlier about a VIP. Are we ready to introduce her? Program? We did talk about it last week, but we can talk oh, about did? it again. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So it is live. We were just kind of teasing it because it wasn't totally live. I'm going to go to our website so that I don't mess mm-hmm. this up. While you get to that, um, I run here really quick because I know last week we didn't want to talk about what 
you were getting for Mother's Day because we didn't want to spoil surprise oh, if you weren't yeah. there. Oh, super but can you excited. tell me what you got? Because I got really not thoughtful gifts for my kids. I okay. will say. Um, so I will start from I'll go youngest to oldest. Okay. So Sedona got me a super cute tote bag that said Mom nice. something, Mom tote, and she got me a mug. That says chaos coordinator. <laughs> <laughs> that actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Mother of six children. Yeah. It was super cute. Yeah. And then she got me a little tiny music box. Oh, she sees that herself on the screen. <laughs> oh, she does. Look at her. <laughs> She's like, who is that? <laughs> that so winds cute. up yeah. and says something really cute. She about. sees it too. She does. Look yeah. at her. That's cute. Where That's are so you? Funny. Happy. <laughs> Oh, well, she's sweet. crying. She Hi, wants to play with the dog. Hi, <laughs> sweet pea. Um, and then from Q or from Houston, got me some really nice bath products from nice. from the place that I like. Nice. And Logan is making me a beautiful serving tray. He's super talented. He actually made this table, so he's making me a serving table with metal handles. Oh, that's super. He was nice. waiting to get this router to put a drip. Thing in it. I'm like, why do I want a drip thing? And he said, for meat. And I'm like, I'm not putting meat on a wooden thing. That just sounds weird. Yeah. I'll use it for like, yeah. cheese and stuff. Yeah. So don't, it don't worry about that. Let's I'm be like, clear. you can put an S in it if you, if you yeah. want. And then Britton and Branson. This is the one I was excited about. Yeah. Got me a really cool, for me, it's just a perfect gift um, mm -hmm. because. It is a three-month subscription <laughs> to butter. <laughs> so it's like gourmet butter. So you know, Lori, like, bacon and butter is the way to her heart. I love butter. Yeah. So, and we just, like a couple of years ago, switched to Kerrygold yeah. butter, and I swear it's changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's a life-changing decision to have good butter. Um I think you said that one time, like, life is too short to just, like, buy this crap butter. I know, we're like, it's, like, probably butter. $40 a year to buy good butter yeah. instead of gross butter. Because well, so. I made cookies at your house, and I was like, should I be using this butter? Like, like are you guys sure? butter we have. And you're like, well, it's this or nothing. I'm like, well, I guess so, we're doing um, it. So, I think it comes today in the mail. So I'm excited. I'm really excited to see it. Have you seen the butter boards that people make with, like, smears of butter on no. a board, and you can try no. the different flavors? How have no. we not done this for you yet? <laughs> That is interesting. Because it's like a I'm butter like, tasting. what are you putting on? Like bagels and stuff? Bagels? <laughs> we love how she says bagels. <laughs> I think it's totally normal. Uh, yeah, it would be like different crackers and breads and things like that. And bagels, um, for sure. <laughs> See, I'm thinking I'm just going to try and popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I know we did the one with two sea salt butter. So like two normal butters. Yes. And then a special butter. Mm -hmm. Like so, a flavor. Where yeah. did you get yeah. it from? Was it one of the links I sent? It was like. Plowgate is that oh. what it's called? Plow okay, farmer. that one um, is like, I know it wasn't the French butter, right? It, that guy's was all sold out. Okay, because I've been watching yeah, this guy make butter Kramer for a while, meat. and so when they said, what do you want, or what should we get her, I'm like, oh, this butter. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that's a great idea. But there was another one um, that is like super high rated butter, but they have like weird flavors, so I'm just Yeah, this like, only really has like one different yeah. flavor a month. Yeah, I like that though, normal. so you can try two different regular butter yeah yeah and then a flavored one and then my husband got me spa <coughs> nice but it's funny because my best friend i got a present from him and her husband and then my husband it's like they both gave us presents <laughs> so they could have just given us the one present oh that's funny. but they're so funny so yeah, whatever funny. it works out great mm -hmm. she frankie's out there the other dog she wants the oh. other dog. <laughs> so what did you guys get for Mother's Day? Was it a good day? Uh, I think I just got some flowers and a dinner and on a card for my youngest son. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. sweet. Yeah. I love cards. Yeah, yeah me too. Cute little rings with my children's names oh, from nice. my mom. Very cute. <laughs> and then a cute little frog trinket box. Oh, that's nice. And then for my husband, I got some like hot tub accessories. Which is great. That's great. Because yeah. he, he got you a hot tub for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. one of those, in, like, it's like an inflatable. Are you using it? Yeah. yeah, we've used it a lot. It's actually really nice, but um, it's like too low, kind of. So, yeah. like, I got a little booster seat. And <laughs> oh, because pillows. you're too far up. Yeah. Oh. And then he got me, like, a quick Is that like an roll. inflatable seat to sit on, or is it like a stool? <laughs> no. <laughs> the seat is like. Um, I don't know, it's kind of heavy, but you just like leave it in there. And it doesn't fold it's up. It's like, it got beads in it maybe? Oh, okay. That's know. cool. What are you Hello. doing? I'm just Hello. a curious person. I need to know all but the, the details. But the VIP program. Um, <laughs> oh, I sneak in. you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Frank. I love I mean, her little tail stuff. Thank you, Skye. Yeah. 
she's like, I'll just stay behind you. I cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> we get to watch the reenactment oh, of it gosh. right there. Um, it's $100 a hundred dollars a year. Honey. Hello. So for the whole Hello. year, you get 15% off retail price all the time. Um, your standard shipping you, is Jack. over seventy-five dollars <laughs> instead of a hundred. Mm -hmm. When you sign up, you get a thirty percent off discount bonus to use. You get five dollars in CB cash every month. Every month. Mm -hmm. Are we just ignoring it? Be <laughs> mauled by a dog? Yes, yes, yes we <laughs> are. It's way more funny than um, everything that's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Each friend that signs up, you get more CB cash. Oh, I didn't know that part. And That's then cool. you get access to the limited time flavors on the 16th. I'm mm. So right after the boxes ship, you guys get first access to any of the flavors you want. And they've been selling out pretty quick. And yeah, there's a, um, a discount, um, everyday discount too, Yeah, right? it's just 15% yep. off retail all the time, so you don't have to wait for a sale mm -hmm. or anything. So like we said last week, this is kind of like if you're like a huge CB fan, like everybody on here is, right? And yeah. if you buy all the time, this is for you. If you're a person who buys like, you know, a couple times a year, this probably isn't for you. Yeah, but I mean, just in the CB cash, that's $5 a month, so that's 60 bucks. That's almost your whole number. Yeah, for sure. So. For sure. It kind of pays for itself oh when you gosh. think about shipping and, you know, having to spend less to get And then, like, when the we release shipping. CHB and pumpkin spice, you guys will get access <laughs> to those before foot. everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a new. bridge. She's like, I'm just going to stand on the, don't step on the keyboard. Yeah. Everybody move the drinks. Mm -hmm. So that's what it is. Um, on the homepage, right under the good. mystery boxes, is a link to the VIP access page. And then in your account, there will be like membership links in there where you can get your discount code, your CB cash. And your cash is like a gift card, so it can be stacked with other things. That's cool. Yeah. But does it expire every month? I don't think so. Okay. Oh. It expires at the end of the year, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. So you could nice like almost save it up for Christmas and yeah, buy for stuff like one with big it or something. Oh, that would yeah. be nice. Yeah. But you can't combine it with other coupons, right? Well, it's like a gift card, so you Well, can, you can that, yeah. but not the regular no, the discount. No, the other, the coupon codes don't stack, but the cash discount. So if there, we had a 20% sale on, obviously you would use you that rather than You could use your $5 cash, too. You just okay. can't use 15 okay. But say, like, it's a random Tuesday and we don't have a sale, so you haven't been having... And you're out of coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 Then you but can you can. shop at 15% off. Program. And give us your thoughts on it, too, like, if, yeah. that's, if it's interesting we're just, we're to you. We're trying to try something new to, mm -hmm. you know... Because the points program didn't work that great, so we're like, well, maybe something like this, especially for the people who really love it. Right. The points were so difficult to mm -hmm. use, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and hard to find some, so. And we like the idea of uh, getting little surprises. I mean, that's what we do currently. It's, I mean, we know what order gifts you, or whatever. Yeah, we, and the you Legends are, program is still going. Yeah. So, so you'll still get, get the little surprises, which I know we had a big one this week. Um, 150. Yeah, yeah. Teresa. <laughs> I can't see a Giordano. I mean, if I'm going to butcher 150 that. orders. Yeah. So, yeah, she got a $50 gift card and a joke. Yeah. I was really worried, like, when I packed it up, I was like, okay, I need to make sure she sees the other side of this. So I, like, taped it to the top of her box. Right. Like, please, please make sure you don't throw this away. Yeah. <laughs> I know it is. I love it. Yeah. I love when we're packing gifts and you get to put those little bonus yeah, things Yeah, because it's like a I surprise that you weren't expecting, right? So you're yes. like, yeah, oh, where did this come from? You know? are awfully whiny today. It's like, you I'm are. with my friend. Yeah, my is friend your friend is somewhere? Oh, I love when she does her puppy, her puppy head cack. Yeah. What? Are we talking to you? Oh, it's so <laughs> cute when she does that. And we're getting great reaction of black cherry. So I oh think everybody gosh. are just loving yes. black cherry. And I just, banana is, I mean, I banana is crazy yes. right now. Banana, nut bread. People are just loving that as yeah. a flavor. Yeah. yeah. But black cherry is doing really, really well. Yeah. And then we have, you probably talked about the new variety box. Yeah, we have the new variety K cup mm -hmm. box. So it's a bigger box. Instead of I want them all, which is only 20. So one of each, it's two of each, I think. And I think we're going to add a flavor scale to the reviews. Mm. We just have to figure out how to name it, but we're going to like add a review scale kind of like we have the cream one but like for how strong of a flavor it is that's so a good idea kind of no that's good because we did have somebody that has bought michigan amaretto and banana nut which are very flavor forward mm -hmm. and then they got white chocolate strawberry which is going to be a subtler it's like a strawberry milkshake i sure. always think i think it's a delicious. subtler flavor and they were really upset about it and i 
I get because you're not going to get that strong flavor for it. Right. It's but we subtle. tried it and we ended up drinking it yesterday because it was so good. It's such a good flavor. Um, just oh, to give you an idea favorites. that maybe yeah. if you those flavors like you stay on the same flavor scale. Yeah, that's a really good idea. That. Because or if, if you want a subtler comfort. flavor, like yeah. some people want a subtler flavor. Right. right. So. Mm. Just trying to come up with something. That's a really good idea. I think that would might help some people who, you know, are expecting that punch in your face we flavor. we were trying to do some flavor, um, like mm -hmm. extra flavor, like yeah. extra flavor Super coffees. Boost. Super Flavor strength. boost yeah. coffees. But the problem is you're just never going to get a French vanilla or a, just a more subtle flavor to be, because just intrinsically it's not the same right as a, as a fruit a fruit right. will a nut will never taste as flavorful right no as a fruit well we've said before kind of one of the good things about our coffee is that we're marrying really good coffee that and you want the coffee flavor to come mm -hmm. through right we're not covering bad coffee we're marrying right. good coffee with good flavoring so you want to have a good balance of both the great right. coffee and the great flavor and sometimes the flavor is more subtle like vanilla is a pretty subtle flavor you know yeah. And when Especially you, when you're putting cream in it. Yeah. I was going to say, when you drop a bit of cream, it does enhance the flavor, too. Mm -hmm. So if you want it to be more flavorful, that's yeah. definitely... Oh, oh okay. The <laughs> oh, there you go. You said a wonder flow gets here, and he literally pops the door she open. She just got so happy. <laughs> <laughs> and there oh goes Sky. <laughs> She smiles, too, Aww. now. Aww. I think we've got the, with the puppy toys. I would love to... Oh, oh she yeah. Has order for our puppy toys. Yeah, we have our pre order out for our stores right now on puppy we toys. Yeah, the designs, they're so cute. They're super, super cute. cute. Really cute. Could be cat toys, too. Yeah, they could. Yeah. Throw some catnip in it and call it a day. <laughs> right. And then we need to see everybody's pets. I'd love to see oh everybody's pets. So We're all such here. dog people. It's so funny. Like, actually, and then it's kind of funny, too, because like John came on with us last week. And he literally spent all weekend building his catio. Which I had never heard of catios we before. Had, we just went through this in our meeting last week. I told him, first of all, he has to show us pictures. He yeah. brought me pictures. Did because, he show me pictures? Uh, not yet. Yep. I show him at the meeting. But yep. it's like a catio. I've yeah. never even heard of it. I've never heard of it either. like years. So. Yeah. I'm not even talking about his catio for years. Yeah, so he's building it, though. Like, so he's, he's building, all building, building it. He's got to rebuild it. He's got to rebuild it out yes. front. Yeah, yes. so they can have a debt. So he's like, I, um, he's I like spent $200 on P-Rock, and then I put AstroTurf on top. He's like, my <laughs> wife's <laughs> allergic to dogs. I'm like, you know, like, our dog is not, it's for She's people with allergies. Yeah. So it's fine. He's like, what? I've lived with these cats. <laughs> 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 well, I laughed yesterday because... Um, Jason ordered DoorDash, and the dasher came to our house, and she looked at the coop and goes, what's that? And we're like, it's a chicken coop. And she was like, I'm sorry, a what? Like, <laughs> for chickens. She never seen She'll no, never seen anyone have a chicken, chicken coop. coop? No. Oh, wow. I talked to the boys' neighbors. My boys, my three boys, their friends, their dogs all live in this, I think it's a retirement community, but it's not. But it looks like it is. Yeah. The average age has to be 80. Uh, for sure. Oh, yeah. For um, sure. But the, so their neighbor came and was buying coffee for her daughter in Chicago, and we nice. were chatting about the neighborhood and stuff. And she goes, Oh, we always just wonder what are the boys getting tonight? Because the door <laughs> has to be so They're like, What are the boys eating now? Oh, yeah. So was it our lady you were talking gosh. to? No, it was oh. the other neighbor, Faye. Nice. So who painted my yellow dresser, which I didn't know. Oh, that's so that cool. I bought, so. Yeah. They're so cute in that neighborhood. I mean, could you imagine a bunch of. 20 to 30 year old boys in a neighborhood of 80 year olds. I guess you should call them men, right? 20 year old men. Let's go with boys. <laughs> Let's go boys. <laughs> what do they have? A pit, a boxer, and a lab, and oh yeah. Gosh. Well, and then she told me about because one of the dogs was able to open the door because it was a lever handle, <laughs> and the dogs escaped. And she was one of the neighbors who was getting the dogs back in the house. Yeah, oh the boys gosh. were all disc golfing. So you imagine all these like old little ladies <laughs> that's running around. <laughs> I said you're a bit more spry than I imagined in my head because she was pretty young. <laughs> That's <laughs> adorable. So funny. Trying to capture all the yeah. boys' dogs and get them back. But it's sweet, though, because they all take, like, they take care of the boys, but the boys really do take care of them. They check yeah. on, yeah, because their one neighbor's in her 90s, and yeah. the boys the really sure go over there and make sure she's okay. Yeah. Well, I know when they first moved in, the neighbors were like, who are these, you know, guys coming in? Are they going to have a party? Yeah. 
No, they really just hang out and play video games. They're pretty chill. <laughs> well, I know our little called Branson. She's like, do you need some cardboard boxes? And he's like, yep, absolutely I do. Arlene, you are not moving those boxes. He's like, I still have them in my car. <laughs> <laughs> he does not need the boxes. <laughs> no, he does not need the boxes. I think one of their one of their pets passed away, and, and one of the boys had called me for pet ideas. Oh, so they got yeah. her like a little memorial rock that or something. That was sweet. Aww. Well, Branson gives and Arlene red roses. On her anniversary, because yeah. Her husband and her had birthday. passed. Yeah. Well, she was buying them for herself. And he's yeah. like, no. Yeah. You're not buying your own anniversary so roses. So, one year, though, this is one of my favorite stories of Branson. He did not know what roses looked like. And oh, yeah. he called me, and I had to take pictures and send <laughs> them to him and show him. And then we were on, so a couple, we've done this a couple times now, where, like, he'll try to find them on Valentine's Day. I'm like, Branson, you can't find roses on Valentine's Day unless you order them. So I'm going to like Aldi and Kroger, and he's going to Beaky's and Meyers, and I'm like, I got a line on red roses. They're oh at Meyer right now. Go go oh go! My gosh. <laughs> but that for this kid, that kind of effort is huge. huge. Yes, yeah, yes. He is so sweet. Yes, he's got a very nice and sweetheart for this lady. And right they make now. him bread. That's I said. Shovel yeah. their driveways. They'll bake for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it is. And they really, they said they, she was talking. She's like, oh, we love it. We love having them in the neighborhood. And, yeah. you know, she was like, we're, now remember, we're going out of town. So, you know, keep an <laughs> eye on the house. Yeah. It's so cute. I like how it's kind of more from who are these young whippersnappers moving into, like, a little community where they oh, look out Oh, you could. It's other. one of those yeah. roads where you drive by and you can see everyone peeking out their well, windows. Like, who's in our neighborhood? When you go there, they're like, what's up? Our mailman used to be late to pick up our mail at the office, like, every day, like, hours late. And we're yeah. like, oh, my gosh, we really need the mail. Well, come to find out, he was getting stuck in the boys' neighborhood because he had to talk to every single neighbor. And they oh. wouldn't let him leave. Yes. Oh. So, yeah, he's he was stuck in there for hours. And the yeah. funny thing is they're... Um, so it's my grandma, so it's their great grandma lived in that oh, neighborhood I didn't know that. when it first started. Yeah, yeah. Grandma Haley I didn't know lived that. in that. Oh, yeah, that's I why. Didn't know that. yeah. And when I wrote the letter for Branson, I yeah. said, hey, my great, because there were several offers on the house. Yeah. So yeah. I wrote a letter for him to give to the people. <laughs> 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 so that's adorable. We did that because yeah. there were several offers. But yeah. he really loved the house, and because there's so many people in the house, there were a lot of bathrooms yeah. in the house. So it yeah. was a good situation yeah. For, yeah, for sure yeah. for sure and one street over like they literally could walk to work if and they have, they have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. it happens yeah for sure it's it's very nice but thanks for joining us this yes. morning <laughs> how far off the top I'm, 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 I'm in an 11 a.m meeting that's so. what i'm like all right have a wonderful week thanks